Hello again, and welcome. This is Robert Schein, Managing Director and partner of Blanky Shine Wealth Management. Today is July 30th, 2020. We've got several topics to discuss, so let's get right to it. Our first topic, and this is not a surprise, uh, we had the worst second quarter GDP read since post-World War II. In fact, we're down 32.9%. Essentially, it's the great shutdown. Uh, obviously, the coronavirus shut the world down, but also the United States, as evidenced by the GDP, gross domestic product. And uh, even though that 32, 33% negative uh, contraction on the GDP second quarter quarter over quarter number uh, was better than expected. It's still uh, the worst number that we've seen since post-World War II. Um, so essentially market took it in stride this morning. It, it sold off initially uh, amongst other headlines, uh, but the market's now working its way back as we get closer towards the closing day today. Now, keep this in mind. I talk a lot about the GDP and what that means. And essentially we had about a two and a half percent growing on average GDP over the last two to three years. Uh, and the United States has consistently produced about a just under a 3% GDP on an annual basis for going back to the 1960s, late 1960s. Uh, and that essentially is, in our case, a 20 to 18 to 20 trillion dollar economy um, in this last year or so. And then you just take out a big chunk of, of sort of that goods and services and commerce out of the United States, uh, as we did see from March, April, May. And now lingering effects, June, July, and the concern would be on a go forward basis, how long that does because it lasts because we do have uh, fits and starts across the United States. We're having sort of hot spots uh, in several states now reporting uh, another resurgence of coronavirus cases. And that's also gonna slow down uh, the uh, GDP on a go forward basis, even though we have, we're already reporting a significant rebound um, as a result of sort of the reopening effect across the United States. That being said, I think what Wall Street sees and what Wall Street's paying attention to is that there are ways to live with this virus. Clearly, it's not going to go away. In fact, it looks like it's going to be with us not only for the end of the year, but till 2021. And hopefully we get something uh, in our hands handle on this between now and then. In the interim, uh, as it reported, fiscal stimulus has come to the rescue, sort of uh, $6 trillion if you add in monetary policy and fiscal policy. So what the Federal Reserve has done and what Congress have done. Uh, so that got us through sort of that last second quarter. Now all that money is in the hands of small businesses and bank accounts and stimulus checks on and so forth. And it really hasn't worked its way into the economy. Only sort of the big tech companies where you can shop online is seeing a large percentage of that revenue. And we'll see that being reported with the big four reporting this afternoon. Uh, but on a go forward basis, we also have Congress as my second topic of the day. Congress is really agreeing to disagree and sort of talks have stalled. Uh, this is something that we have predicted the Wall, Wall Street, you know, folks and experts have sort of also predicted this. And this is not uncommon. This is sort of the horse trading that plays out. Um, but it adds to uncertainty. It adds to additional timeline because we know that uh, the unemployment um, additional enhancement is going to expire uh, tomorrow, if you will. So this uncertainty is going to weigh heavily on the market, as we see in the short term. But rest assured, we, we're fully, or at least Wall Street in the market is fully anticipating another round of CARES Act. So whether it's $1 trillion to $3 trillion, uh, or somewhere in between, essentially what we're going to see, uh, that is going to be another re-injection of dollars into the economy i.e. the GDP. So we will see another round of GDP sort of um, shot in the arm uh, 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 liquidity uh, in the third quarter. We're presently in the third quarter right now. Why this matters is money in the system by the evidence of M2 money supply, and it's working its way through the US economy. Now, it's just going to, because of the delay in the reopenings, it's gonna delay uh, a lot of the um, sort of you know, commerce that we will see as evidenced by the GDP. So we will see a third quarter rebound in the GDP. We'll see another round of stimulus once Congress agrees uh, and sort of gets all their wants and needs um, into the bill, if you will. Uh, and then we're also gonna see uh, just a lot more uh, additional support from the Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve essentially came out yesterday and said they're gonna keep interest rates uh, low for a good long time, uh, well into next year. 
So what that means is it's a positive for the equity markets. Maybe in the short term, again, we'll see some volatility. But long term, you want to own uh, long term assets like equities or stocks, if you will, because corporations in the short term uh, are, are, are having some uh, revenue you know, shortfalls and they're just trying to survive. But those companies that will survive uh, will continue to thrive in the future. And that's the name of the game right now, unfortunately. Now, there's the economy uh, of unemployment. And that's another number that's concerning, which is the initial claims. Uh, and, and there's initial claims, you know, came down to dramatically as we saw. And that trend was, was, was fabulous because we wanted to see people get rehired, if you will. Uh, but now we're seeing it persistently uh, kick up a little bit uh, because of the, again, stalling of the reopening across the United States. So the question is, much like the second wave of the virus, we're seeing the second wave of initial claims. And um, that's something just to keep an eye on. Uh, hopefully we will see the other round of stimulus that helps uh, and assist those, uh, essentially in the service sector that are getting hit the hardest. Um, but then there's also the, a good group that's going back and, and working harder than ever. I know that we're busier than ever, Blanky Shine Wealth Management, new clients, new referrals, new relationships, uh, as well as taking great care of our existing clients. So um, yeah, it, it's definitely a different world out there right now and uh, everyone just doing the best they can, but we're here for you, working hard for you. If you need anything, we're here. Also uh, like and subscribe and feel free to share, but thanks for listening and watching today. Take care. So my last topic is introduction of little dudes. This is uh, a <laughs> bring your dog to work day. Uh, Rick and Janet just got a uh, little dude, a uh, pink collar because they need to get a different collar in the meantime. Uh, but this is little dude, a little beagle. Um, and that's what you heard in the background when I was filming. So it's bring the little puppy to work day. Uh, most precious thing in the world. Uh, but little dude, say hi. Uh, I love beagles. So that's what you heard. Thank you for tuning in and uh, take care. Say bye, little dude.